two things as we draw near the end of this Oho. First I painted the ends of the sticks with a brown simple tempera color that I get at a craft store. Uh, you can use a q-tip if you have some nice art brushes. A little stubby one like this works well or just you know, cheap kids brush. Something small though. Um, paint on those sticks, turn it over. To the back shows that much. And the other thing is sometimes find it very handy, instead of using the usual twist method that I demonstrated earlier and I've been using all along here, towards the end of the Yoho, and it's harder to pick it up and flip it over from this little bit that's left here. I like to use the sheep shank knot sometimes. This is also known as the weaver's knot. It's a weaver's knot because you can pull uh, and move the knot exactly into the position you want. Okay, with the white end, we make a simple loop like this. Hold it. Take the blue, the next color, underneath that loop, around. When you go around, we're going to go so it comes on above the other part of the blue. And then up and through. Now, if that wasn't clear, there's plenty of places online with big video animations show very clearly how to make the sheep shank knot. You pull it so it comes out pretty much in the back. And we're ready to continue on here. Now, like I said, we're trying to avoid picking this up and twirling it around, so we just hold those tails with our forefinger when we come around the next time. And they should all be tucked in there nice and neatly. All right. Next video segment, closing off the final end and putting on the loop for hanging.